never be forgotten. And for those closest to the tragedy, the scars will always remain. But there is help out there. Shortly after that terrible Tuesday, a fund was set up to assist the families of victims and the people who came in to help in the aftermath. Will David asked us on Instagram, what's the status of their 9-11 fund? I hear it's in the billions. Tonight, correspondent Laura Engel has some answers. Catherine and Susan Wolf. And I guess I always, whenever I come by here, I always give her a kiss. Charles G. Wolf lost his wife Catherine on September 11th, 2001. Catherine was working on the 97th floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center. Charles would learn of Catherine's death a few days later. As our grieving nation began to recover, the federal government created the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund, or VCF, to provide compensation for those who suffered from the terrorist attacks. It was funded using federal money, which Congress appropriated for that dedicated purpose. It extends to anyone who is in our zone, which is the Shanksville and Pentagon sites, or New York City, anywhere on Manhattan, south of Canal Street. Um, it includes responders and survivors. The program has been updated a couple of times, and to date has paid out over $3.1 billion, covering more than 14,000 compensation determinations. It's currently funded under the James Zadroga 9-11 Health and Compensation Act of 2010, a bill which President Obama signed into law and reauthorized in 2015. James Zadroga was an NYPD officer who died of a respiratory disease linked to responding to recovery efforts in lower Manhattan. The latest revision includes money for cleanup workers and first responders dealing with related health issues. There really is no amount of money that can alleviate the losses that were suffered as a result of 9-11. We hope that this fund can provide a little bit of support, uh, financial support, a little bit of compensation for the pain and suffering. The fund still has $4 billion left to distribute and has helped people like Charles, who has advocated for other families to apply, move forward. The fact that I received this money allowed me to get treatment that I needed to overcome the PTSD. The new law allows those who wish to submit their claims to the VCF a little over three years, giving them until December 18th, 2020 to do so. Brett? Laura, thank you. Our Whatever Happened to series continues.